going? My name is Cameron, also known as Venus Theory, and in this video I'm here to give you an overview of the wavetable section of the new Phase Plant synth from Kilohertz. Phase Plant is a semi-modular synth from Kilohertz based around the Snap-in ecosystem and is an incredibly powerful tool for both sound designers and music producers, so let's dive in and take a look. Alright, so we've got Phase Plant open and we're going to be checking out the wavetable oscillator, so let's go ahead and insert a wavetable oscillator here, and we're going to go ahead and add an LFO, I'm going to set this to unipolar, and we're going to go ahead and just let this scroll through the wavetable, so this is the factory default wavetable here. So within the factory library, there are tons of different wavetables. We have some that are FM. We've got a lot of really nice growls and modern cutting edge sounds. And then there are some really interesting kind of retro and unique sounds uh, like the bit crush triangle here is a pretty cool sound. So when it comes to creating your own wavetables, this is actually pretty straightforward. So we can go ahead and click this little pencil icon here to open the wavetable editor. And there's a couple tools that allow you to make this happen. We have the selection tool here, which allows us to select a region. We have the morph tool, which allows us to morph between point A and point B. We have the pen tool, which allows us to draw curves. We have the pencil tool, which allows us to draw in freehand mode. We have the wave tool, which allows us to generate a waveform. We have the direct harmonic editor, so this allows you to draw in different partials if you would like, and you can actually adjust the phase of each partial as well, which allows you to create really interesting and complex sounds. Then we have a filter here, so you can actually use a filter on the waveform to smooth out the high end or high pass something or do a lot of different things that filters normally do. So how this works is actually by keyframes, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go to file and new, and I'm gonna start on frame one here. I'm going to use my pen tool and I'm going to draw in some curves. So we'll start here and do something about like that. And then we can right click here to make that a sharp point. So now you can see we have this dotted line down here and this allows us to move from one frame to another. So I'm going to start here and then I'm going to just go ahead and change this waveform around a little bit. We'll make that sharp and I'm going to right click the sharp point to make it smooth. We'll insert another keyframe and move things around a bit, maybe change this. Something like that, okay, and just do a couple more points here. And then on this last frame, we'll go ahead and just make everything a little bit different so we get quite a bit of movement in this wavetable. Now what's cool is Phase Plant will actually automatically interpolate between these different points. So the wavetable is actually already generated and to commit this, I can just select done. So now if I play this, it will actually go through the new wavetable we've created. So now we can do a bunch of different things to the wavetable using the different tools. So uh, one of the things is effects, which is really cool. So we can go ahead and add an effect. So we'll use the disperse. So I'm gonna start on frame one and I'm gonna set this to maybe 40% mix of about 70-ish. And then we'll just kind of move around the wavetable here and change these settings. And once again, phase plane will automatically calculate the differences and interpolate everything. So there's no morphing or anything like that needed. So we can go to the last one here and just adjust this a little bit more. There we go. And we'll go ahead and hit done to commit that. So now we've got this really cool disperse effect going on on the wavetable. Which maybe gets a bit messy, but it's kind of neat. So we can maybe do another effect. Uh, we could do sine FM. So we could just maybe add two points here. So we'll do that and increase it. And go to the last frame and we'll just set that to zero. We'll hit done to commit that. And then we could do one more thing, which is a filter sweep. So I'm gonna start on frame one. I'm gonna hit the filter here. We'll go ahead and change the slope to be something pretty extreme. We'll set the cutoff fairly low and the resonance fairly low. And then on the very last frame, I wanna open this up and just increase this resonance quite a bit. So now we'll get this nice, cool filter sweep going on throughout the wavetable as well. So that is how you can generate your own wavetables. It's pretty quick and easy to do. So now we could just change some settings around here and make this into something kind of cool and modern. So now we should have a nice, cool, big, modern pad sound with a wavetable. which allows us to create tons and tons of movement very quickly. 
And that's it for this video, so thanks for watching, and if you want to learn more about Faceplant, you can find more information today at kilohearts.com.